everyone, welcome back to my book reviews. My name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews. And today we are talking about this book right here. I cannot wait for this book to come out because look what I have. I also have the first two. So I couldn't wait to read this third one and it is absolutely amazing. Christy did such a great job with it surpassed all my expectations. I love this story so much and I know it's the last. I know this was a trilogy, but I would love to have her write another one. So Christy, you can write another one. We won't be upset. You know, maybe in a year or two you'd be like, oh, I miss them. And you'll go back and you'll write another one. We can only hope, okay? Because this one, look, first of all, look at this cover, okay? Is that just amazing or what? But this story, I wrote it down, okay, because I wanted to like be able to tell you my three S's, okay? Secrets, sisters, surprises. That's my three S's for this book. I was like, I wrote it down. I'm like, oh, it's three S's. So I'm going to read the very first paragraph of the first chapter, and then you'll see. I'll read another one. Growing up, this is from Ainsley's point of view, okay? And I say Ainsley. I think she does too. Growing up, I didn't like surprises, not surprise parties, not presents, even losing a tooth was steeped in horror as I couldn't stand the idea of some tiny Tinkerbell sneaking under my pillow unannounced. You know what? I thought the same thing. I used to cr get creeped out thinking that this like, what's going to come under my pillow like while I'm sleeping and please don't let me wake up. <laughs> That's what I always thought. I'm like, please don't let me wake up while they're doing that. And then the last paragraph of the first chapter, okay? I spent a lifetime thinking that surprises were the enemy. These next few months, I would learn that wasn't true at all. Surprises, if you take them for what they are, can be the very best friend a girl can have. Oh my gosh, Christy, I love that. I'm having a freaking weird hair day today. Anyway, it's so perfect. It is so perfect. I love the ending. I'm not going to tell you about the ending, but I love the ending. I love Emerson's story and the sisters, like I don't have sisters, but if I did, I would want to be a part of these sisters. They're my favorite sisters and, um, and all of, look at all of her covers. Okay. Like that was last year's. Look at this one. Okay. They're just so beautiful. And, um, I don't know how much more I can say about this. There are no cons. I'm like, okay, always tell them about the cons, but I'm sorry. I have a really hard time finding cons because these are five-star book reviews. Um, cons, all right, I can think of a con, that she's not writing another one. That is a con. I want her to. I want, Christy, I want you to write another one. I am not done with these women, but you know what? Here's a suggestion. If you have not read these two, this is a standalone, okay? You don't need to read these two. But why not? Right? Like I would start. I, I love, first of all, I love reading series books and you get to know the character so much deeper, but she does an amazing job of catching you up and you really don't miss a beat, but why not? Look at what a fun summer thing to do, right? I mean, we're coming up on Memorial Day. It's like, just take these three books, go sit on a beach and tell some, and tell your whole family not to bother you that you're busy, right? So I just want to thank Christy for allowing me to read these books. I did do an interview with her last year. I'm going to post it below. She is one of the sweetest people I know. They, I can't think of anyone sweeter than Christy. She is a tall poppy blog. Tall, I'm a tall poppy blogger. She is a tall poppy writer. Okay. And I am so thrilled that I got to meet her because of that. Um, she also has a blog with her mom called Design Chic. I'm going to put her website listed below. And um, she is just an amazing person and, um, and an amazing writer on top of that all. So thank you guys for watching. Please go read the book. And if you already did, let me see when it came out. It just came out. Yeah, May 7th. I knew I was like, wait, it just came out. So tell me if you read it. If you haven't read it, go read it and then come back and tell me you read it. Okay. It's a beach read. I consider it my first beach read of the year because it really is. I don't think I've read another one yet.
So this is like my first one and what a way to start Memorial Day, right? So I hope you guys have a great Monday. Have an amazing week. Talk to you soon.